On this episode, we take revenge on a Hollywood celebrity. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the anti-Sandra Bullock mod. This unlocks our full potential. Now anything is possible. Anything is possible now. Well, at least we are having fun. This is just way too good. This is just way too fun. Oh, hi everybody, this is Christian from Lazy Diffs Academy. Welcome to episode 64 of our advanced mod tutorial. Today we are still doing um, bullets, patterns, uh, load pack edit, and it's cool. Um, yeah, we are shooting a bunch of bullets now and we are getting into those modifiers that allows us to take a single bullet, duplicate it multiple times and add angle and speed and so forth to create interesting patterns, right? So we have like our three standard bullets, right? And then we have like the spread shot and then we have like a burst shot and then what then, right? Something that we kind of established on the last episode was this idea that um, there is like basically three parameters of each bullet that we're kind of changing when we're doing the burst shot. We're changing the uh, angle of bullets, we're changing the speed of bullets, and we're changing the time, the delay of bullets, right? These are three things that we want to meddle around with when we're doing the burst shot. And so today what I want to do is to apply the same kind of logic to um, the spread shot. That makes sense to apply this for the spread, because right now the spread shot is like just applying it to the angle and we have like a separate modifier to uh, do a, like a rapid fire to apply the spread shot logic to timing. But I think it's a good idea to combine everything into one modifier. So one modifier does everything, right? Um, so we're gonna make the spread shot do angle as it already does, speed as it doesn't do, and timing. Good. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and also why are we doing this? It's a good idea to think about mirroring stuff. We can't do mirroring on the spread shot and it might be a good idea to do mirroring. Or maybe that should be a separate modifier. I'm not sure. First of all, let us do the different parameters for the spread shot. So here's what I'm thinking, how we're going to evolve our spread pattern. Right, right now we have num. A number of bullets that we're creating in an angle and I'm just gonna take the speed and time as well like this source num ang speed time source num ang speed time just uh, repeating the same parameters we've been in burst the burst randomizes those the angle creates like a regular progression of those um, now let us go to the pattern generator and let us think about how this would work. Here's rapid. We see the thing is then we can get rid of the rapid because that will probably fix all of these things. Okay, so here's we are regenerating the angle, and then um, what I want to do is here's the spread right. And we're adding the, the parameter. We're adding that bullet, that pattern bullet, into our return array. Now we're going, we're generating a pattern multiple times. And we always take the bullets in the pattern and dump them in the return array. But now what I want to do is I want to add something to the weight and add something to the speed. But it's not a random number that we're adding, but it's gonna be based on the parameters. So it's gonna be basically this stuff. This stuff is what we're gonna add. By the way, is that? I feel like there's too many, too many brackets here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm, mm, mm. We, we're gonna do some cleaning up later on anyway, but I just like wanna add things in here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So um, let me th think things through a little bit. So on the weight, we're adding I minus one multiplied by not pattern four, the weight is gonna be six. And the speed is gonna be five. Let's, let's, 
let's do the ordering like this. Right? So each pattern, sub pattern that we generate, each copy of the pattern we're generating will have, um, will progressively update its speed, increase its speed and increase its wait time. Okay, let's let's see if this even works. Might This might cause some problems because we have probably gonna have some nil values. I mean, wait, something something was weird. We had a nil value. Oh yeah, 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 mm, right, right, right. Um, I'm gonna fix it in a second, but first I want to do something else uh, still. We have this function that generates empty patterns. Here's burst, here's rapid, here's spread. Um, for this, I want to add the two new values that we have. So the first one is 1,1, one, one, um, 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.5, comma, um, let's go 1. Um, the first one is the number, no, the, the, the first one is the reference, the second one is the number, the third one is the angle, then the speed. 0 0.5 here. I'm not sure. Um, uh, whatever. Let's let's just let's just see. Let's just create a new pattern. Yeah. Okay. An angle should. Yeah. Angle is okay. Yeah. No. This is good. Okay, the angle is obviously bad. Ooh, ooh, let's do speed zero. It's just your regular spread, right? Let's, let's just make it even smaller. Just your regular spread. Oh, but I can already tell something. Oh, no, 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 it's just like the angle here. Let's, let's make the angle straight, okay. Yeah. All right, so this is our regular spread and it's all good. But now something we can do is we make the speed different. So now the outer um, copies are faster and we can make it slower as well, uh, minus, yes, yes, <laughs> uh, let's, let's do six and then we can even, oh, the t there's, there's a time delay, let's, let's do the time delay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay, actually something I want to see now is let's do 60 uh, and let's keep the speed at zero. Ah! Oh. <laughs> what up? Yes! <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? Mm. You know what else we can do? I mean, now, now anything is possible. Anything is possible now. Because look, uh, so this is pattern six, let's create a new spread. Uh, let's create, the source is gonna be the, the previous pattern, pattern six. And let's make it like two, uh, except speed should be set to zero and time should be set to zero. No way, right? No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is <it's>, oh. <laughs> Just to like to wrap our minds around the system because this this is this. It might be surprising why we have like suddenly so so many amazing patterns with relatively little effort, right? So um, first we create one single bullet shot. A single bullet shot that just flies. This is the animation. This is the collision detection. Whatever. Right? Then we're gonna create a rapid fire like a spread. App, and we apply a spread modifier to this. And a spread modifier will basically copy this one shot 60 times, but each subsequent copy just shifts the angle a little bit and uh, delays the firing time by five frames. And so this creates like this kind of rapid fire kind of situation. So we now have like this, this turning rapid fire kind of situation. And then we take that and multiply this three times, except each time when we, um, so we create three copies of that, but each copy is, you know, again, sh the, all of the bullets that are fired are shifted all by 33 
uh, degrees, pico eight degrees, so like one third of the circle. And so by creating three copies of that, we create like this triangular spiral. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and now we can even go in and be like, oh, I need, I, but I need this to be denser, right? I need this to be a little bit denser. So sure, let's 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 make this fire a denser pattern, right? And then uh, yeah, and then when here, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> this is just way too good. This is just way too fun. This should be forbidden. This is forbidden code right now. So we actually have the spread of no, we have the turning spread. This is the spiral. This was one of the goals. We we just did it accidentally. It's just it's just possible now. <laughs> we kind of already have the spread of spreads too. But I don't want to delete it until we implement the mirroring function because this is this is this is gonna be a bit of a difficult thing. And there is another spread here that has caused me some troubles. It is called the chunker spread. Uh, we're gonna go come to that later. Uh, but actually, we can actually do also this thing, the labyrinth. Let's do the labyrinth. Uh, by the way, I didn't save any of this. And I kind of want to delete this because this is an old version of the spread. Let's delete this. Mm -hmm. We do have to burst now. Okay, good. So let's do the labyrinth. Um, the labyrinth is actually something I already... Um, is, I'm not sure if it's called the labyrinth. I call it a labyrinth. It's probably not called a labyrinth. Um, the idea is, is spread. Uh, we're going to take bullet number three, which is the chunky bullet. Let's do the chunky bullet. This is it's kind of like something that you like to do maybe in a in a boss fight, right? The boss creates like this labyrinth of bullets to navigate through, right? Um, so let me just create like 10 bullets. No, no, yeah, let's create 10 bullets. Uh, and it looks like this. Oof. Let's, let's let's not add anything to the speed, and let's do a zero time delay. So it all creates like these these <clears throat> this forest of bullets. I think this should be more bullets, but okay. Let's let's just for now, let's export this, and then we're gonna create new spread, um, and it will reference that spread, and let's say six times, but the angle is always gonna be zero point five shifted. Speed is stays the same times. Oh, the time is also going to be delayed by five. Okay, this is a bit too too rapid. You see? You see. Um, we could go back to this and make this a little bit slower. The base bullet, because if, if you have like a chunky bullet like this, uh, it, it makes sense if maybe this is a bit slower. Yes. Yes. Isn't that nice? So you can already tell maybe a bit a bit of a more timing uh, issue here, maybe 15. So so just to increase the spacing between the bullets so there is more of a path to navigate between. And so you can easily um, imagine like a boss fight where, you know, the boss basically creates this pattern, right? And you have to like avoid this pattern just fills the screen with lots of bullets, but very predictable bullets, and you have to like weave in between there. Easy peasy for breezy. So that was what the thing I created. Like, it's, it's a very common pattern. I, I call it the labyrinth because I wanted to see if it can easy create like this kind of thing. And by the way, um, okay, I didn't say. Um, I wanted to say some, um, show something else. Um, so right now, so this, this creates this. Uh, let's set zero, zero. Um, let's create 16 copies. Well, maybe not 16. Uh, let's create six copies. Okay. So you can see this is easily avoidable, right? I, when, when, where, let me set it. So now I'm like, with the, where the circles at the bottom of the screen, you see the circle at the bottom of the screen. It doesn't have to move, right? It, you can just stay in one place and that, that pattern won't hit you. So you want to shift each each uh, subsequent circle that comes out. You want to shift it a little bit, so you actually have to move a little bit. And previously I did 0 0.5 as a shift. This is cool, this hits you, but now you just have like basically uh, two alternating circles. 
um, but you can also shift it a bit more more slowly. So that creates a bit of a more of a spiral that we had pre previously, right? Um, maybe a bit. Yeah, this looks a bit more chaotic now. Let's do a bit of a more tighter spacing. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Now you can really tweak and fine tune those those explosions. Those ah, this is this is good stuff. Let's just export this for now. Cool, 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 cool. So that actually um, checks off the box of a labyrinth. We're already there. Like we almost, mm, oh, we're mm, we're really close to being finished here. Actually, let us now fix the the mirroring. That is actually a bit of a tricky pattern or a tricky property for a pattern. <clears throat> um, just like to reiterate what the problem is. So you can tell how the spread goes like if from the center line like if you look down from the x and this is my x where i'm firing down i'm firing down and um the spread is only to the left side of that firing axis it's not to the right side we, when we want to maybe create um give ourselves the option to create mirror mirror um spreads so it goes to the left and to the right we already had that in a burst where we had to implement like a little function that randomizes numbers in, in a positive direction and negative direction. Now we want to also have this kind of same logic applied to the spread, but mean, maybe we don't need that always. So this should be an optional uh, property of the, of the spread. So by the way, we actually can delete the rapid because everything that rapid does, the spread does as well. So we don't need the rapid anymore. We don't need the rapid anymore. Easy. And now here, when we're doing the actual patterns, we can de delete the rapid. Now, when it comes to the actual spread, something I want to maybe add at, at the end is like mirror, right? Mirror, which basically tells us if this spread is mirrored in the, only mirrored in the angle direction. We don't need to mirror it in the, in the speed or in the uh, uh, timing, but we definitely want to mirror it in an angle. Let me let me create spread here. So mirror, I'm gonna go zero. By the way, I feel like we want to, by default, we don't want to shift the speed and we don't want to shift the time. And maybe we, by default, we want to have the spread to be a bit narrower. Um, by the way, same for burst, maybe not so much. This feels bad. Let's just let's set it to zero. These are just default values, not, not that important. Uh, but later on when we create lots of patterns, we want to maybe start with always with, with values that are more reasonable. Good, so this is spread now. So now I want, um, so my pet seven, like the seventh entry, that is the entry that indicates if we're, we're gonna have a mirror. And how are we going to do this? So we create a pattern. Oh, let's let's do it again. We're gonna do, we're gonna condense it to a more compact code later on anyway. But we're gonna, so if my pet six is greater than zero, uh, so if my pet six has been set to one, it's just gonna be a zero and one. So it usually mirror is set to zero, but if mirror is set to greater than zero, then we want to actually repeat all of this stuff. Um, let's just copy this. So we're going to create a pattern. Again, this is widely inefficient, but that's okay. And let's just go like multiply it by minus. Is that how it works? Let's try that. So if this is the case, okay, let's try that. Again, we're setting it so it only fires down. Okay. Now I want to create two copies. Okay, so now it, create, it fires down and it creates a new copy that's shifted. And now I want to mirror it. It did not freaking work. Oh, it's because it's not six, it's seven. Now on, I will engage the mirror. It is engaged. The mirror has been engaged. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is good. This is good stuff. 
Okay, okay. So so if we do like time two and the number is set to six, but then zero point one, then what what happens? Then? Oh yes. <laughs> But the speed is going to be 0 0.1. Oh, <laughs> that is a funky, that is a funky <laughs> pattern. <laughs> oh, that is a weird bullet, huh? When that comes out, you want to like do go around, but then the, the outer bullets catch you. That's fun. What can I say? It just works. Oh, look at that. Look at that pattern. Look at that that embrace. It's a bear hug. It's a bear hug pattern. <laughs> the eagle-eyed listeners might have noticed something, and I want to actually do a thing here to show off what I mean. So when I'm drawing the pattern here, um, what I actually want to do here a little bit is, after I draw the menu, uh, I want to BG print the number of... I want to BG print the number of... Um, the number of bullets that are on the screen. Um, bulls. Yeah, so I'm going to do a uh, hashtag BG print uh, bulls. Hashtag bulls. Um, I want to put this on like two and 120. And um, maybe let's not do 13, let's do, that's 13, right? Let's do like a five, let's do like a five. How does that look? Yeah. Okay, so you can see down there, there's like a number of bullets. Let's, let's make it a little bit like this. Let's just positioning just a little bit. So it's a bit of a, out of the way. No, actually 20 was correct. Okay, so we've seen that down there, there's like a little number showing us the number of bullets, right? It's, it's easy, it's easy. Let us look at this. No, not the burst, the spread here. I think I had an old spread that didn't have the mirror. Yeah, this, is, this spread is causing some errors because it's an old spread and, and it doesn't have the mirror. Let's delete the old spreads. It's just going to be the easiest solution. Okay, okay. Uh, let us set the number to two to show off a thing. So you can easily see, you can easily see that I'm firing three bullets. One, two, three, three bullets. Easy. But let's look at the number. Huh. It's not three bullets, it's four bullets. But I count only three. Let's increase the separation. It's three bullets, but why, why does it say four? Well, it does say four because we engage the mirror and the mirror duplicates the number of copies we created. But there's always like the center bullet there, right? Sandra, it's Sandra Bullock, the center bullet, specifically from speech two. We mirrored that entire pattern, right? So what we did is we also mirrored that center bullet. Sandra Bullock was mirrored. And um, we don't want that. We want to skip the mirroring fu function on the center bullet. So um, we don't get like, because right now it's basically it creates like a second bullet that is identical. And so we have two bullets on top of each other. And that's fine, like whatever. I think the, those patterns duplicate each other constantly. And we might get into hot waters when we have a, you know overlying pattern that is then duplicated once again and so forth. We might have create a lot of additional bullets that we don't want. Um, simple solution is for this is like, we basically say if i is greater than one and. So we only do the copying if we are uh, doing something that's greater than zero. And again, we go down to two, three bullets. We have Sandra Bullock, the center bullet. <laughs> and two other copies, a, co a, a copy and a mirror copy, right? Three bullets, that's what we wanted. Cool, 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 cool. I wanted to maybe showcase this a little bit, just like experiment a little bit to um, to get a little bit comfortable with those spreads. So we have like a, we have this spread, right? Let's let us create um, a, um, 
like a, um, maybe like a burst, like a machine burst of bullets, and then do a spread of spreads, like the like we had it wrote written down. So let's go spurred. And actually, let's do, let's use the small bullets now. And we're gonna do a. Uh, let's see. Let's just do it like a. Um, let's do it like a little time variation here. Uh, let's let's create like four bullets. Like a little spread and then angle is going to be basically zero. Okay, that's a little bit too many bullets. Uh, I mean the timing is a little bit... Maybe that's better. Maybe three. Yeah, that seems good. Maybe four. And uh, what about if we make the speed a little bit faster? Let's make this time zero. Oh yeah, see now 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 it's a little bit cooler. So we so the the spreading out a little bit. Let's let's make make them spread out more. Oh yes, spread out even more. Twenty, uh, zero point two. I mean yes. This is this is a very bullet pattern kind of bullet. Let's export this. Can we can we do like a little angle variation on on here? Yeah, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? It's it's no biggie. And then um, we're gonna create a new spread pattern. Source eight. Let's go three. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna mirror. Ah. Ah. Isn't that nice? You shoot something out like this and you go like, ooh. <laughs> uh, this is this is just so nice. It's so fun. And I think that was kind of like the goal to create like a little system that is very flexible and that allows you to combine things and stack things on top of each other to create interesting effects. That is also fun to experiment with because this is where creativity happens. This is where I will spend some time just like, ooh, doing fun stuff. Like it, it works, it totally works. Like I can already tell myself, I see myself spending some time here and then being like, ooh, let's, let's see what, what kind of pretty patterns I can create. Okay, so spread is done. Spread of spreads, it's done. Final boss, and we're gonna we're gonna push through. We're gonna we're gonna achieve all of pattern goals today. The chunker spread. Let's talk about the chunker spread. A little quick reminder: what a chunker spread does. All right, so here we have a, like a let's say we have like a bad UFO and a chunker spread. I call this a chunker spread. It's probably not called a chunker spread, but um, I mean. <laughs> You can call it whatever you want, but it's like when you create bullets that go like this. You have a, sp a spread that goes in one direction and a spread go that goes in the other direction. And there's a gap in the center. There's a gap in the center, right? That to me is what I call the chunk of spread. It's, it's a really cool pattern um, in terms of like gameplay stuff. It's kind of a little bit unintuitive because like most of the time people use this pattern. People have like a spaceship, and they go like, I don't know, let's just shoot bullets downwards, right? That's going to be like a simple enemy. And that's bad enemy design. This is bad enemy design. Don't do that. Because the problem is, like, what does the player do, right? You have to always think about, you don't have, just have to design enemies. You also have to design a way to fight them, to defeat them. We're like, what is the gameplay that we're generating here? What is the thing that we're asking the player to do, right? And if you, if you ask the player, if this is the challenge that you set in front of the player, then what is the player to do? Like if they stay here, they get shot. So what you're actually asking there is to just not engage the enemy. Because there's just like, you get just get shot. Like maybe you ask them to shoot an enemy down before the bullets reach you. So you like to really prioritize shooting this enemy. But otherwise it's just like, it creates a gameplay where you always want to avoid the enemies. You don't want to sit in front of the enemies because they will shoot you. That's not interesting gameplay. This is interesting gameplay. Because what it asks the player is like, so you can stay here and shoot down the enemy, but you will be confined in this space. You cannot get out because there's going to be bullets to the right and to the left, and you're now stuck here. So if you engage this enemy, you cannot leave. You are, for a brief amount of time, you will stay in here. And presumably there's going to be other enemies shooting at you, and you have to avoid those, any, those bullets while stuck in front of here because you, um, you decided to engage this enemy. 
So it's kind of like the payoff, like there's a, like a cost that is associated with engaging the enemy that you have to now be really on, on point, you know, avoiding those potential other shots that come in from the side because for a while you stay here. The other option that you have is just to not engage the enemy, but then that's still like you're still stuck to the side of it because you cannot go across underneath that enemy, right? And, and that's fun, that's, that, these are fun challenges. And then you can even create gaps in between them. Like you can create like these chunk of spreads are usually uh, like go in, in gaps. You would have like a gap in there, right? So you can be like, oh, you're stuck here, but you can also maybe escape if you are really good at dodging. It just creates like these interesting challenges for the player as opposed to this, which is just like not really that engaging. Even if you create gaps in here, it doesn't really change the, the formula, right? However, this chunk of spread uh, idea kind of creates a bit of a problem because uh, so far in our spread, uh, we always have a center. We have always a, we always a Sandra Bullock, the center bullet. <laughs> but now we want to maybe create have spreads that don't have Sandra Bullock, don't have the center bullet. So how are we going to approach that? So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to do the anti-Sandra Bullock mod, uh, which is we're going to, and this is going to be a bit, this will make spread a little bit heavy and a little bit janky, but I think it will pay off. So for the spread right now, we have like a source, and then we have just like the number of bullets that we, we generate. What if we could just expose the values for the for next loop directly in here? So we're gonna have a from and a to. So like a from one to one, for example, right? And then let's do like the UI for this. Uh, here, there's the spread. Instead of the num, of, instead of just like a dumb number of bullets that we're gonna generate, we're gonna say like from two. Like this, and then in the pattern editor. <laughs> this is getting a, this is a chunky function, but it does a lot of work. And we can also simplify this a lot. Um, so for this, I think we can now go for um, my pet three to my pet four. Just like the for next loop is just basically exposed to us as um, the pattern in a pattern generator. Uh, the only thing is we have to shift everything by one because all of the numbers have changed now. So here's three, five. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's try that. Now we probably will have to delete all of the spreads that we created so far. There's there's disadvantages to, to to creating stuff. Okay, so let's create a spread. Okay. So far it works. Now, which, by changing the two, we change the amount of bullets we're creating. That's cool. Ah, but you can already tell. There is no center bullet. Oh, there is center bullet. Okay. I should make an indicator. I'm going to write it down immediately. I'm, I will angle indicator. I want to change the angle indicator so I can tell which direction the bullets are firing. Okay, so we have center bullet and a second bullet. We do a mirror on maybe. Cool, 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 cool. Now we set the from to two, bam. That's our chunk of spread. That's what we wanted. That's the chunk of spread, right? You can do like a shot like this and people will have a big time, difficult time avoiding this. You can even go like from the side. This is really nice because it's, it's aimed. It's an aimed shot, right? So you can even do like an aimed shot at the, at the player. Cool. And we can even do like maybe a time delay here. Uh, let's go six. Oh, two to six. Uh, it's a bit difficult to use now. There is a cost. Uh, 0 0.1. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. I guess I would have to put it in another spreadshot so I can have rapid fire. Let's, let's do that. Uh, let's do like a time four. Let's do like uh, four like this. Whoops. Uh, I don't want to change the angle. Isn't that amazing? That's so good. That's such a good, such a good shot. I, 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 
This is so good. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back here. Uh, let, let, oh man, I, I just you can tell that I just can't stop messing around with this stuff because it's just so fun. Yeah, this is the chunk of bread. This is the chunk of bread right there. See, and then you can. Um, can we do like a? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. So, oh, now see, now we can do we can do timing stuff. We can go like from three to six. And then we're going to create a new pattern that is going to be referencing that pattern. Spurred. And then... I, I, we probably didn't even need to do that. Yeah, we can just go one, two, three, it's fine. And then we're going to reference that pattern. Uh, three times. See, and then we can do like spacings. What's good? What's good, huh? <laughs> oh, close the spacing, close the spacing. Oh yeah. So you see, there's a little gap and you can escape if you want to. <laughs> hey! Oh, this is good stuff. So I would say job's done. Uh, angle indicator is not done, but our pattern goals have been achieved. We've created a little pattern system. Ooh. Now there is some cleaning up I want to do. Uh, I want to write down one thing that I is still missing and that is like a combine modifier. And then I want to um, uh, like minimize, minimize the system. Uh, so it's a little bit more portable. Uh, I want to maybe do the angle indicator thing, and then uh, yeah, I want to bring bring it into the game. Yeah, I want to bring it back. Bring it back. Also, I want to um, I want to maybe bring it into the um, the brain editor. For now. Let us go to the doggy zone. That's right, the doggy zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the doggy zone today, mm, I mean, I could take these things. I could just take these things out and be like, okay, just do the combine modifier, do the angle indicator and so forth. You, if you want to work on these, do, go ahead, make the edit, editor nice and comfortable, um, condense down the code. It's going to be fine. Like, yeah, sure, go ahead. However, I have also a different challenge if you want to just play around more with the editor, maybe in, in implement your own features. There is a challenge. I saw recently a Loki Striker did posted a GIF of a of a pattern that they created in their system. And as a challenge for the doggy zone, I wanted to show you this GIF. Check this GIF out. You see, it's a bit of a spiral pattern, right? But there's also at least like two over overlaying spiral patterns in each pattern, each shot consists of three bullets and there's some bullets that are faster some bullets that are slower Ooh, this is an interesting pattern and you can already tell that this would be really fun probably to to kind of like get in there and start um uh yeah like like flying around and avoiding the bullets this is good stuff and so the challenge for the doggy zone one of the challenges for the doggy zone can be instead of like doing all of this you know, modifying the editor. Instead, work with the editor and, and make this pattern happen. That's the challenge for the doggies. Yes, yes, and at the end of each episode, as always, I say a big thank you and a shout out to all of the people at coffee.com who are supporting the show, who are making the show possible. We are getting there. We are getting there. This is, um, the systems are coming together. I think we got a really nice bullet system and I want, I'm eager to just see how it plays out. I'm really happy that you guys are giving me the possibility to work on a crazy project like this. Thank you so much. And also I wanted to read out a comment in episode 54, uh, the Gecko made this comment, ah man, why not just draw the index on the screen and draw function? And then he has some, some example code. Um, he's referring to the fact that in, um, <laughs> in uh, the brain editor, we created two menus. One is the uh, menu that you can interact with and one is kind of like on-screen UI menu that is drawn to the screen but you cannot interact with because I want to show some overlays to show like the index that is currently selected and so forth. And I'm not a smart man. 
because Ge the Gecko is completely right. We could just, if you just want to draw a number to the screen and it doesn't have to be interactable, you can just draw the number to the screen. <laughs> and for some reason, I was so caught up in in the mechanics of it that I just created a whole new menu system that is <laughs> just draw a number to the screen. I. I realized my wrongdoings and this episode I actually fixed that so I want to draw a number to the screen just draw a number to the screen. I'm just letting you know that not everything I do is smart. <laughs> I'm not a smart man. Thank you so much for the suggestion. All right, all right. So I think we're going to have one more episode of uh, Patterns and then we're going to see what else comes up. See you next time around, guys. Bye-bye.